Well, those eye-watering figures include reportedly a uh, £700,000 a week contract in Saudi Arabia with Liverpool demanding a £20 million transfer fee. The proposed transfer also raises some serious moral questions. Liverpool's LGBT plus fans group Cop Outs has criticised Henderson for considering the offer. The group say we are appalled and concerned that anyone might consider working for a sports washing operation for a regime where women and LGBT plus people are oppressed and that regularly tops the world death sentence table. Stephen Gerrard's participation in his sports washing is particularly galling given his previous support for LA Galaxy teammate Robbie Rogers who came out as gay in 2013. When someone's made a fortune should money take them to go to work maybe they should be asking themselves those questions we hope that jordan henson proves to be a man of his word and stays true to the values of our club which so far he has been an absolute embodiment of so that was what the uh, cop outs the lgbt lgbt plus group of uh, liverpool have had to say for more on this uh, we're joined by the chair of the lgbt plus rights charity stonewall and that is alexander baker alexander good morning how are you alexander uh, more morning natalie morning tony just to correct you i'm chair of stonewall football club which Sorry. is an inclusive football club based in london rather than the charity okay <sighs> thank you for, for clarifying that for us alexander when you hear what cop outs have had to say I, I can only assume you're fully in agreement with that. Um, yes, yeah, I, I, uh, I, I think the words uh, sort of the word disappointed is probably the one that I've, I've heard a lot about this this news and probably encapsulates how I feel about it and the sentiment um, you expressed in the in the words from the fan group uh, are certainly ones I share. I'm not a Liverpool fan, so I perhaps feel it slightly less strongly than they do, um, given that, that, that Jordan is one of their own. But I, I definitely think that uh, that, that, that their, their views are right. Mm. Um, over the last 20 years, things have been relaxed in Saudi Arabia. They are changing. Mohammed bin Salman, who is the son of the king, um, is basically in architect of the vision to 2030 and is wanting to implement change quite clearly. I mean, look, from where they are and where they... You know, they're where they were 20 years ago and where they are now is quite a big change. Could you make a point of saying, well, if Jordan did go and being, as I said earlier, being inclusive and being part of that change, would you understand it on that level? Well, it's, it, it's possible that large parts of Saudi Arabia have changed in recent years and will continue to change over 10 years. But I'm not sure it's quite right to say that the experience of LGBTQ plus people in Saudi Arabia is different. It's still criminal. To be to be gay, um, sexual activity between gay people is illegal. The maximum punishment is is death, and so uh, it's it's not obvious that that's changing. In terms of whether or not Jordan Henderson would be able to have an impact on that if he did leave and, and go and play in Saudi Arabia, I, I doubt it. In his remaining playing career, if you think back to Qatar last year, Jordan Henderson was one of many England players who were very vocal about their concerns about the Qatari regime. And, uh, and wanted to express their solidarity with the community, both locally and, 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 and further afield. But their ability to do much in the tournament, as we all know, was, was, was pretty heavily circumscribed. And I don't know what contractual agreements Jordan Henderson will sign up to, but even if there aren't any explicit restrictions on him being a vocal advocate who does make the move, the environment in which he'll be operating isn't one where... Uh, these sorts of issues are, are, are likely to be in, encouraged. When you see a quote from Jordan Henderson back in 2019, when he was talking about Stonewall's Rainbow Laces campaign, he talks about how uh, as long as even one supporter questions whether they are welcome or can enjoy football because of their sexuality, the campaign is important. It went on to say it sends the message that you are welcome. We are on your side and the small minded idiots who make you feel uncomfortable have no place in football. It's as simple as that is what he has said. It does then make you sort of feel, well, he is going to contradict all of those those words and, and his strong stance on the LGBT plus community if he does make this move to where to Saudi Arabia where it remains a very repressive state 
Well, I, I reread that article last night uh, too. And, and this, I mean, I agree with all of those words and I agree mm -hmm. with this sentiment. And this is where the disappointment, I think, comes from for those in the community who've seen Jordan Henderson as a, as a resolute ally over, over the last few years, is that he has been so visible and so strong. And to, to move to, to Saudi, uh, to leave behind uh, all, all of that allyship, um, feels hypocritical. Um, you sort of question whether or not he actually meant it when he first said it. And I, I, I guess there's an, um, a, an, an emotional response to that, a sort of grief, because there aren't that many people in the Premier League who are willing to be so openly supportive of these, these types of causes, of the importance of inclusion of LGBTQ plus people in, in football. Um, Connor Cody is another example, but there aren't that many. We still have a problem in this country mm. yeah. about yeah. gay rights. So for, for him to say those things over a period of time and then appear to abandon them, I, I, you know, it, 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 it sort of hurts, if mm -hmm. I can put it that way. Yeah. Well, Jordan Anderson hasn't gone there yet. Stephen Gerrard has, and he hasn't said anything uh, previously I I understand, of you know, what, what's happened in Saudi Arabia. Um, do you feel huge disappointment that Gerard decided to go? I I, I don't see um, Gerard in quite the same position as Jordan Henderson. I, I mm. wouldn't consider Gerard to have been uh, as publicly a, a vocal, uh, an ally, although I, I know he was supportive of Robbie Rogers when, when, when he came out. Um, but, but I, I mean, where we could end with this, I guess, I guess if people thought that there would be a massive paycheck at the end of their careers or the start of their careers by going to Saudis, they might be less willing to talk about these issues in, in the English mm. game in the first place. And I think that would be problematic and I wouldn't want that to happen. I, I think we need to encourage more dialogue about how to ensure the game is one that everyone can enjoy. Um, but, uh, but, but clearly individuals will, will make their own choices on, on these things. Do you know, in terms of Stonewall's position with Saudi Arabia, any conversations that have been had on a wider scale? Do you, do you know of any? So I can't talk for the charity. Yeah. As I said, I, I, uh, I, I chair the Inclusive Football Club that shares a name, but um, we are organisationally separate. I see. OK. Well, Alexander, we do appreciate you joining us this morning and sharing your thoughts on it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Cheers, Alexander. Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6 a.m. on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.